So I'm heading out for the evening. I've been told to go to Traverstair, which is like a cool place with loads of restaurants. Um, so I'm going to try and get the bus there and have some dinner and just, yeah, chill out. It's been a long day. Well, this is where all the ladies in high heels got off, so I guess I'm in the right place. Um, unexpectedly, because it's a Tuesday, but probably because it's August, all the restaurants are full at the moment, so I'm just having the strongest tequila sunrise in the world while I wait at a bar. I have to say, that's one of the main downsides to travelling alone. I find a really cool bar right by the Tiber, it's really funky, I really like it, but there's only so much pleasure that can be taken from drinking alone. The other downside is people don't really want to serve you when they could serve a table of four. So everywhere's like, we're full. But I'm like, there's a massive empty table for eight people there. Yummy! I have lost all shame about the volume of gelato I'm consuming. So there was the most almighty thunderstorm all morning. So I've been hiding in the hostel uploading my vlogs. Um, I'm just heading now, because you can see it's cleared up. Uh, I'm just gonna head to the main shopping district and still look for something Vatican appropriate and try and get to the Vatican by about 2.30. Here are the Spanish steps where I was gonna have breakfast today, but I think I'm gonna postpone that now until tomorrow, considering it's midday. Spot on my lunch. Just had an absolute mare whereby that restaurant took about an hour to serve me that one piece of pasta and take my bill, so like running to the Vatican. Somebody didn't read the dress code. These rooms are both done by Raphael. Modern art collection. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for the big reveal that I couldn't film in the Sistine Chapel. Sorry. Here's a poster of what it looks like. This is the line to go to St. Peter's Basilica. I don't think I can face it.